here. Hey all, Kurt Sasso here from TGT at C2E2 2012. We're here today at Jeff Jocks' booth. Of course, he is known for questionable content, and uh, it's great to see you here. Jeff, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. Wonderful, wonderful. You know, I, I've loved questionable content. I've gone through the entire almost 2,000 page archive twice, yeah. actually. Oh wow, that is a lot of reading. Yeah, it is, it is. And, and the fact that, you know, I loved your indie stuff in the beginning, but it's great to see you here at C2E2. I saw you here a couple years ago as well. What is it that you like about C2E2? Uh, well, uh, it, first of all, it's a show in Chicago, and uh, it, it's not a city that I get to come to very often, but I really enjoy it. So it's great to have an opportunity to do a thing in this town where you meet the fans. Um, it's got a really good atmosphere. You know, everybody at the show is really you know, happy to be there and excited about it. Um, it's, it's big and busy, but it's not completely overwhelming like some other conventions can be. Uh, so yeah, for me, it's just a really good balance, and it's in a fun town. Of course, you're here with two amazing people, with uh, Randy and, of course, Danielle uh -huh. here as well. Great, talented creators in themselves, too. Um, but you have Volume 1 and 2 of questionable content available, which yes, is indeed. great to see. Uh, what is it about putting out a book and your fans coming to your, your table and picking it up for the first time? Is that, is that a personal satisfaction? Yeah, it feels really good, I mean, especially when, when we finally got Volume 1 finished. Actually having a physical copy of my work in my hands, which I never had before, was a really, you know, was really special. Um, and it just feel, it feels really good to actually have hard, hard versions of it that I can, that I can give out. Um, and yeah, it's, it's great to, to meet fans of these things. I mean, the, the main reason I do this is just so I can meet fans. It's, it's, it's nice to turn a profit. It's nice to you know, get, get out of town. But most of the time, it's just here, I'm just here to say hi to people who read this trip. So that's why I do it. Definitely, and, and you have a great cast of characters. You've gone through so many different forms of relationships, and you're, you're doing it a wonderful time. And I love Han uh, Helen Owen, she's wonderful. And um, when it comes down to it, though, with this, such a great convention as it is, you know, what personal experiences do you get to take away from this convention? Uh, well, the, the, you get this you know, overall kind of warm, fuzzy feeling just from you know, meeting you know, lots and lots of people who like your work. That, that's always a great quality. Uh, and then, you know, the great thing about cons is you never know what's going to happen. I mean, two years ago I found out that Mike Mignola's daughter reads my strip and I was completely flipping out because he's like <laughs> my favorite, you know, mainstream comics guy. It's really crazy. Um, so you never know and I really, I really enjoy that aspect of convention. So there's always something unexpected. And, of course, you're going to have a kids' day that they always have at these conventions. You know, what advice do you have for that younger generation that's coming up, you know, to become artists like, uh, like yourself? Uh, you just got to find something that you really care deeply about and then pursue that. Uh, the, the, the key to my success is that I, I, I'm very passionate about my work and I take it really seriously. Um, and I think that's true of everybody who does what I do for them. And I feel that if you find something you care about and then you apply yourself to that, you will get what you deserve. You get what you want. I agree with that wholeheartedly as well. Uh, is there, uh, of course, it's questionablecontent.com. Dot net. Dot net, right, sorry. Uh, and, you know, is there anything that you have in terms of uh, convention exclusives? Uh, yeah, I have a convention exclusive print that I did just for this show. Um, they are limited edition. I, I did a print one of 100. When they're gone, they're gone. They're gone. They're gone. They're gone. They're gone. Bucks. Other than that, we, we have another non-limited print. I'm doing sketches for fans if they want them, and I'll be selling books and plushes. Which, which plush you do? I will have pint size and Awesome. Some good stuff. We don't want to take up any more of your time here, Jeff. It's been a true pleasure, and I hope you have a great convention. And thank right, you so thanks much. Thanks a lot. And uh, could I get you to say you're watching TGT? TGT, yes. Hi, this is Jeff Jackson from Questionable Content, and you're watching TGT.